Good morning, Gators. Hello, my name is Jishli. I will be talking about what's been going around the Arlington Middle School. Going around the Arlington Middle School. We are going to talk about the Gator Cup competition, which happens every month. Our first Gator Cup competition this year was a relay race. What's a Gator Cup competition? A Gator Cup competition is an activity where you compete with each homeroom in your grade. Each homeroom has a color, and they have to wear the same color shirt. Every homeroom has a name that they chose that matches with their theme from each grade and color. Members of each classroom compete to obtain first place, thus obtaining a winning team each month. With that being said, now I will name the winning classes from each grade. For fifth grade, we have Miss Chase. Sixth grade, we actually don't have a winner. We have a tie with, between Miss Bichelle and Mr. Papagallo. Seventh grade, we have a Laurel. And finally, for eighth grade, we have Miss Myers. Top third, doing Gator, the Gator Cup competition. The price has always been the same. The winning team gets to go to launch. For, who's, for those that don't know what launch is, launch is a trampoline park. And for second place, there's they receive an ice cream party here at Arlington Middle School. For, that's all for the Gator Cup topic. There will be an other activity called an open house that will take place at Arlington Middle School, which is students will present their parents or guardians along with their teachers. This activity will be on September 19, 2024. Open house is a good time to get to know your parents and get to know your friends and every people, everybody. See you next time, Gators. Hi, I'm Ms. Breen. I'm the principal of Arlington Middle. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who made it out to open house tonight. It was a great showing and it seemed like everybody was enjoying themselves, especially the ice cream treat. I had two. Um, I just wanted to say thanks and um, can't wait to see you at some more family engagement events. Remember to work hard and be nice. This is a 30 second commercial on peer pressure. This is what you shouldn't do when you get into peer pressure. Yo, bro, let's skip school. Yeah, school's lean. Um, that's a bad idea. I don't think we should do it. For real, we we'll skip school because no one next school. Fine, let's go. A few hours later. You guys are all suspended. This is what you should do when you're getting peer pressure. Guys, learn how to say no. Oh, bro, let's skip school. Yeah, school's lame. No, I don't think that's a good idea, guys. Yeah, nobody likes school. No, I'm not going to skip school. All your friends got suspended. Good job of staying in school. This is why you should learn to say no. If somebody's peer pressuring you to do something you don't want to do, tell them no. No could be a good word sometimes. Hey Arlington Gators, it's Ilani. And today I'll be talking about the triple E virus that has been spreading diseases in Vermont, New Jersey, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire. Triple E is a disease caused by a zoonotic mosquito called the cattail mosquito. This mosquito that is mostly found in South America and the Caribbean. The triple E virus was first recognized in horses in 1831 in Massachusetts. Researchers have said that you can protect yourself from the triple E disease by wearing long sleeve shirts and pants and using mosquito repellents when you do your outside sports. Avoid being outside from dusk to dawn and dump any unneeded standing water around your property because mosquitoes like to breed in standing water. Triple E is a dangerous virus because it can cause inflammation to the brain, seizures, behavioral changes, vomiting, mild fever, neck stiffness, muscle aches, etc. In some cases, the triple E can be very fatal. This disease has a mortality rate of 30%, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Football teams had to cancel their games because it was getting a lot warmer outside. There was already a death of a 41-year-old male named Steve Perry from Hampstead, New Hampshire, who had to be rushed to the hospital with a brain infection and passed away from the triple E disease. That's why football teams are canceling their games and the town people are getting mad and disappoint and very disappointed that their kids won't be able to play on Fridays from dusk to dawn because of the triple E. Protect yourself from those pesky mosquitoes and be safe and stay at home. Good morning, Gators. It's my name is Yadiel, and I got you some pop culture. 
Today for Pop Culture News, we have some drama between Jay-Z and Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. Reportedly, Lil Wayne had spoken saying he wanted to be chosen for the Super Bowl halftime show as it was being taken place in his hometown. He was in shock and felt some type of way when he realized that Kendrick was chosen instead of him. He hit up some of his producers and they all told him it was Jay-Z's idea. An inside source said Jay-Z felt some type of way. Rappers like Nicki Minaj defended Lil Wayne, saying it should have been Lil Wayne, but that Jay-Z had too much pride and still had a guard, so he didn't let him on. Instead, Kendrick was a better instead said Kendrick was a better fit. Rapper 50 Cent defended Kendrick, saying he deserves to be in the Super Bowl halftime show because right now he is the guy. On the other hand, did you know that Twister chasing companies are offering a ride and a chance to see a Twister close up. The price is almost $5,000, and there's no guarantee you'll see a Twister. People that have gone on a say it's fun and thrilling, but the NOAA says that they do not condone or encourage storm chasing. However, a, store, a storm chasing tour operated in a responsible and safe manner might provide a person with little or no experience the opportunity to observe a storm with someone more experienced. The real question is, would you pay $5,000 to chase a storm? On the other hand, we have Trump misgendered Nikki Jam. What? So reportedly, Donald Trump was at the Las Vegas rally, and he said that he had a music, a Latin music superstar supporter, Nikki Jam. Do you know Nikki? She's hot. Donald Trump did not know who Nikki Jam was. When Nikki Jam walked up, he said, oh, look, I'm glad he came up here. There's been speculations that Trump did not know who Nikki Jam was. My name is Zadio Bully, and this is it for Pop Culture. Hey, Addison Gators. So there will be talking about a sports that just started after what felt like a short summer. Let's start with a fan favorite, football. The football games were unfortunately all canceled. Fields were booked for some baseball games, but the team's first games will be October 5th, so keep waiting. Now let's move on to our next fan favorite, soccer. These games were very intense, not going to lie. Being there was like being at a pro soccer game with the artists and Gators coming on top. With their first, first game ending 2-0, artists are winning. The second game ending 1-2. The Arlington taking an L. The Nets game makes up for that loss. Arlington winning 3-0. This is great. The soccer games were very good, but 7th and 8th wasn't so good, losing both their games. Last but not least, cross country. We got our race with the sub runners coming in 3rd and 5th, but the other two runners coming in last place. That's nothing but a little more practice, and I think they could bump up the games. So runners, let's get you ready for the next race. October 5th, also, if you are interested in running, ask the coach, Ms. Belangers in 8th grade and Ms. Rutgers in the 6th grade. Runners, put your running shoes on and get ready to win that trophy for our school.